Good memory. Uh, memory. Did you flash it yesterday? Yes, but just put us fun a little bit quicker. Okay. So again, you will be illustrating what we had just redrawn and what we had just come up with for the story. Carter? Um, Studies in Spanish class, sometimes in some of the places there are like multiple scenes. You can split the box into more than one spot if you want to. Yep, so like in that last one where all the dramatic ending happens, you might want to split that into two parts, okay? So you can split each box into more than one part if you need it. But otherwise, your pencils are down, and you are contributing to us recreating the story. I will tell you, and I will give you time to draw, okay? No actors, not for this. All right, here we go. Your eyes are on the board, and you are responding to my questions when I need them. Son las siete o son las ocho? Son las siete. Y Bob va a la escuela. Bob grita. Adiós, mamá. Y abre la puerta de la casa o la escuela? De la casa. Pero Bob no cierra la puerta. La mamá de Bob grita. Cierra la puerta. Cierra la puerta. How do you do that? Pero Bob ignora. Pero Bob ignora. Ah! Oh, no. oh, so yeah. Ignora a su mamá. <laughs> Bob. Bob. Nunca cierra la puerta. All right, so that is your first box. So take a moment to draw what you need to in box number one for that section of the story. Again, the more that you draw, the better off you will be for the activity that we are going to do in just a moment. does not need to be a beautiful piece of art. So you don't have time for that. Okay, quick sketch. Maybe draw a building, maybe draw the people, and maybe a little a speech bubble or something. Okay? Un minuto más. Got one more minute to finish your quick sketch. Bob, camina o corre? Corre. Bob, corre a la escuela. 
Bob abre la puerta de la escuela y ve a un profesor que se llama Señor Earl Lee. Bob no cierra la puerta. El señor Earl Lee grita. Cierra, cierra la puerta. Cierra la puerta. Pero Bob no. Ig no. ignora a, al señor Earl Lee. Ooh. Bob nunca cierra la puerta. La puerta. El señor Earl Lee cierra la puerta. All right, scene two, go. Un minuto más. Treinta segundos. Diez, nueve, ocho, siete, seis, cinco, cuatro. Tres, dos, uno, manos arriba. Nice. Super. Nice. My hands are up. Not bad. Ok, fantástico. Alright, son las nueve o son las nueve y quince? Nueve y quince. Bob va a la clase de español. español. Bob abre la puerta, pero no, no cierra la puerta. No cierra la puerta. La señorita Lapert. Lapert, gracias. Grita. Cierra, cierra la puerta. Perfecto. Bob, cierra la puerta. Pero Bob. Ignora a la señorita Leopard repite con calma. Bob, cierra la puerta, por favor. Bob grita. No. Nunca. Nunca. All right, that is the first part of your box. And again, you may want to split that one in half. I would also recommend writing times or including a clock somehow in each scene. Just an FYI. That might help you. Question. Which one do the 
correct? Si. Por la mañana. Treinta segundos, thirty seconds on the first half of that scene. Senorita Leopard Yama Asu Jimmy Ami Asu Amigo Timmy and Fuego Ella Dice Timmy Camina a la escuela A la escuela Por, mm, por, mm, por, por favor. favor. Timmy dice. Sí. sí. A las nueve y veinticinco. No, veinticinco. Veinticinco en inglés. Nueva. Sí. A las nueve y veinticinco. Timmy. Camina en la clase de Espanol. Espanol y ve a Bob. Timmy abraza, abraza en inglés, Hug. a Bob y ahora Bob está en fuego. Elfin. All right, finish illustrating your third box. Got one more minute. Oh, so uh, for all the classes, is it Timmy and Fuego? Or mm -hmm. for this class? Too? And so you plan to have Timmy set on fire? What? So if you called Timmy knowing that he's going to set on fire, Maybe. she's trying to set the score on fire.
All right, the activity we're going to do. I still have your arms up. The activity we're going to do next requires you to listen to my directions carefully, which means you cannot write while I am explaining it. So if you can put your hands down and not grab a pencil, you may put your arms down. If you are unable to not have your pencil in your hand while I'm giving directions, then you should leave your arms up. Okay, we are going to do what is called a blind retell. Sounds scarier than it is. Okay, you are going to work with the partners that I assigned to you, or up here in a group of three. One person, let's use Isaac and Ellie for example. Ellie, stand up, come here. Okay, one person is going to have their back to the screen, and the other one is, in, they're going, your back to the screen, dear. This is the screen, your back needs to be to the screen. Okay, get out of the light, there we go. And the person with their back to the screen is going to have their storyboard in their hand. Okay? Their job is going to try to retell the story as much as they can from memory. But this is not a test of the person who's speaking. It's a test of their coach, your partner. So Isaac will be reading the screen as Ellie tells the story. Okay? And when she makes a mistake or if she forgets a word or she skips a sentence, it's Isaac's job to coach her to have her say the right thing. So Isaac needs to be reading carefully because he needs to coach her on this. Okay, so if Ellie goes, so mas ocho, Isaac needs to try to tell her, no, no, no ocho, siete, and she'll, oh, so mas siete, okay? And then, va, va, a la escuela, word for word, his job is to coach her, okay? So the partner who is doing the coaching, it's on you, it's on you to be reading carefully and paying attention to detail, okay? After two minutes, I'm going to have you switch partners, and then Ellie will go sit, and Isaac will stand up here with his storyboard, and then Ellie will coach him on that, okay? So it's not about the person who's telling it, it's about the person who's reading, okay? Remind them with the gesture, cierra la puerta, abre la puerta, son las, if you can. If not, just give them the next word or the next phrase to help them keep going, okay? Question, preguntas. All right, so decide between your groups who's going to go first, and then go ahead and get started. Go. So you guys will have two coaches at one time. Right?